This is for Ball State University Biology 111 lab, and this is the fermentation and cellular respiration lab set up. With this particular lab, there are two different test tubes that we're using. One is a large mouth test tube that is the reaction tube. So your yeast and your glucose and any of your test materials are going to go in the larger mouth tube. Uh, the regular looking test tube that has a smaller hole is going to be your collection tube. And this is where you will collect the gas from the fermentation reaction through water displacement. In the setup over here, we have a water bath. And in this water bath, you're going to set your reaction tubes after you've put your glucose and any other substances necessary for the reaction to incubate for five minute, minutes to come up to temperature. It's notable that you have not added the yeast yet. So you're just bringing up the glucose and any test materials up to temperature. While those are incubating for five minutes, you're gonna need to set up your reaction test tubes in the water bath next to it. What needs to happen is your collection tubes need to be full of water upside down in the water bath. We're going to be measuring the water displacement by the carbon dioxide and we're going to be measuring with a ruler that water displacement. So the easiest way to do this is to stick the test tubes in a test tube rack and we're going to place it horizontally down in the water so that the test tubes fill up. After that, I'll flip it over so the test tubes are upside down and then move on to threading the test tubes or threading, thread the tubing into the tubes. All right, so horizontally, I have put all of the tubes down in the water bath and they all look like they are filled with water. Now, keeping the tubes inside the test tube rack for support, I'm going to flip the tubes right side up, and they should be filled all the way with water. Now my one tube over here has a small, very, very small bubble in it, and we're not gonna worry about it, but if I would have some extra room in here, I would want to measure that initial water bubble and take that into consideration when I'm looking at the carbon dioxide displacement. But these tubes are pretty well filled. Uh, now what we're going to do is thread the tubing through the collection tubes here. And the black stoppers are eventually gonna go on the reaction tubes, but we don't need to worry about those for right now. In order to do this, I might turn my test tubes back on their side, keeping them submerged so I don't lose any of the water. And I'm gonna snake the tube, tubing up into the test tube. Now you might need one or two hands to do this, but you wanna make sure that your test tubes are already in their holder before you go ahead and do this. Once the tubing is in there, making sure it all stays underneath the water, you're going to flip the tube so they are upright. And now I have test tubes with the tubes in them. And I'm going to turn this around to the side. Something else important to remember is that you need to know which reaction tube is hooked up with which collection tube. So you need to make sure you know which tube is running to which tube. All right, so this is what the setup should look like right before you're adding the yeast. After your reaction tubes have incubated for five minutes in the incubator, you're then gonna add your yeast to the reaction. And at that point in time, the fermentation is going to occur and once you add the, the yeast, you're going to stopper the tube, each individual tube after you add the yeast. And this is again where you're probably gonna need a couple hands to hold everything. And once that last tube is stoppered, you will start your 
time period that you're going to track the fermentation. Um, I do have a tube here that has a little bit more of a water bubble in it, and that's something that I would measure beforehand and subtract from any additional carbon dioxide water displacement. Now my apparatus here looks like it'll stay like that for the entire time. Once the time period has finished up that you are doing the fermentation reaction, you're going to measure the water displacement with a ruler in the test tubes. And it might be easiest just to leave the whole apparatus the way it is and measure it and then take it all apart.